Welcome back. This is Breakfast on Tuesday morning with Sally and John. Now, mortgage rates are rising again and lenders have started pulling hundreds of deals. Here's Ben with all the details. What should we do, Ben? It's a very, very good question. It affects so many people when they're coming to the end of their mortgage deals, not just mortgage holders, but also people who rent as well. Because if landlords' mortgage costs go up, they could well pass that on. Let me run through some of the details for you this morning. Mortgage rates are increasing. Again, let's take a little look at what's happening. An average two-year fixed-rate mortgage deal is now £35 a month more expensive than it was just a few weeks ago. In the last few days, several lenders have made changes to their mortgage deals. On Friday, TSB withdrew all 10-year fixed-rate deals with less than three hours' notice, saying it was a temporary move and that the deals would return. Santander, meanwhile, increased the rate on some of its products by up to 0.43 percentage points yesterday. And the Coventry Building Society is expected to hike its two, three and five year deals today. It's a really frustrating time for many people with a mortgage or those who are hoping to get one. We spoke to first time buyer Joe in Cardiff. It is feeling like I'm in a bit of a tailspin, which I'm sure a lot of other people are feeling the same way and it's just very stressful really disheartening and just like I'm never really going to get anywhere. I think for me, I'm just going to be sitting and waiting, really. It's just going to be a long waiting game until things calm down. Well, one and a half million people are due to renew their mortgage deals this year. We've had lots of questions. Fortunately, we've got expert Charlie O'Neill joining me in the studio to go through some of those. Charlie, a really worrying time for many. A lot of people not knowing what the best thing to do is when their deal comes to an end. Let's kick off with a question that we had in on the WhatsApp uh, chat this morning. Uh, someone asking their fixed mortgage ends at the beginning of July. They don't know whether to go for a five-year fix, which is £120 more a month than they pay now, or a two-year fix, which is £180 more. Essentially, do they lock in for longer at a lower rate or go for a shorter rate and hope that rates come down within the next two years? What should they do? It's always a little bit of a gamble, um, and it's it's always a very personal choice as well when it comes to whether you do a shorter or a long-term fix. It's not just about the rates as well. Um, it's best to think about what the monthly repayments are going to be. So um, potentially you could look at changing the term of your mortgage. So it's not just about this rate's this much per month and this one's this one. There's a lot of different ways that you can alter a mortgage too. Um, it's because the interest rates aren't cheaper over the five year at the moment, that does suggest that the lenders are expecting that over that period that rates will come down. Um, however, it's not something that two years ago we could have predicted we are where we are now. So it's, it's, it, it's a bit of a gamble, it's very personal. Um, and it depends on your personal life as well. So if you've got young children and high childcare expenses, which are gonna change over the next couple of years, then maybe it's a good time to review your mortgage in two years. Um, so we're talking about here talking about changes over the coming years and mm -hmm. um, there are people looking month to month and um, the question from Claire in Sheffield who's got a fixed rate mortgage deal due to end in October mm -hmm. she's asking should she try and secure a deal now or wait until nearer the time and her question is probably about what rates are going to do over the next few months what yes. should she do yeah um, so the best advice is you can lock in a mortgage deal up to six months in advance to when your mortgage rate is going to end. So if you've got a mortgage rate that's ending any time until the end of the year now, really, is the best time to get some advice. Um, speak to someone that you trust that's, that knows the market. Um, the thing that we, brokers will usually do is they can lock in your best option now. And then usually if there's better options that come up between now and then, they could potentially then lock that in for you as well. That's really so, useful to know. So you can almost hedge your bets exactly. and have an offer ready. But if a better offer comes along, you can Absolutely. grab that one near the time. That's, that's really useful. Um, we had another question. A lot of people not wanting to give their names. Obviously, it's very personal uh, about their finances. But um, uh, this couple of messages to say that they they probably need to keep borrowing 20000 for the next two years after their current deal end. Mm -hmm. They don't know whether it's worth taking out a mortgage or whether they should perhaps consider, they say, a personal loan or, or even putting it on a credit card. Yeah, I, I think a credit card is likely to be a lot more expensive than mortgage rates at the moment. Mortgages are a bit more expensive than what we're used to. Um, it would certainly be something to consider looking at whether a personal loan um, is the best option, how much that interest rate is going to be and what that cost is going to look like. Um, but also um, their eligibility for that rate too. Um, 
that's something that they should be talking to an advisor about, um, but certainly to look at the mortgage rates to see which one's going to be the cheapest option there, because it's likely that although interest rates are high, that's still probably going to be the cheapest way to borrow. Money. So we're talking a lot about the perspective from people who um, have a mortgage, they own their home or they want to try and buy a home. This would affect people who rent as well, because if landlords' mortgage costs go up, they're very likely to pass that on to their tenants. And Samantha in Gloucester uh, is a tenant. She says, can her landlord put the rent up twice in a year? She's on a six month contract uh, and is very worried about this. Presumably she's assuming that the landlord's mortgage costs may go up and that may be passed on to her again. Can, can they do that? What's the situation there? I mean, if, if a landlord's on a fixed rate mortgage, um, which the majority of people are choosing to fix at the moment to make sure that their monthly payments aren't going to fluctuate too much, um, this isn't going to be changing their, um, their outgoings again. Um, if they're on, say, a tracker deal or um, a variable rate deal, it's likely that they're, they're tracking the Bank of England base rate, which actually hasn't changed. So at the moment, those costs aren't changing for them. Um, the Bank of England is due to um, relook at their rates again on the 22nd of this month, and then that could cause some changes. It's important to know there are rules around rent increases and it needs to be reasonable increases um, but essentially yeah it would need to be a reasonable increase um, there. Okay Charlie that's been really useful um, some really helpful practical advice there I'm sure that's helped a lot of people out not just those who've uh, got in touch with us but you know others as well who are affected in a similar way thanks very much Thank for coming in and joining us this morning. Uh, yeah, as we we're saying, this does affect so many people. It's an issue we will return to, of course, we'll be waiting to see, as Charlie said, what happens with interest rates at the Bank of England uh, in a couple of weeks when they make their next decision. Sally, John, back to you. Ben, thank you very much indeed.